This podcast is brought to you in part by Academy Travel at MickeyVacations.com. Academy Travel is the official travel sponsor of the Pirates and Princesses podcast, and we can't recommend them enough. Go to MickeyVacations.com backslash PNP. That's MickeyVacations.com backslash PNP to get started on your next Disney dream vacation today. And now on with the show. safe trip. Remain seated, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the cabin. Be sure to watch your children, and no smoking, please. Welcome to the Pirates and Princesses podcast. We're a different kind of Disney podcast. We do it our way. We talk about Disney parks, Disney movies, TV, video games. Anything Disney. I'm your host, Tom Pratt. And I'm your other host, Cambria Pratt. Welcome back to the show, everybody. I'm your host, Tom Pratt. I'm joined by my lovely wife. Me. Me, Cambria Pratt. And uh, we're going to talk about, before we talk about all the Disney news and and rumors and goings on, we're going to talk about Spider-Man and Elsa. People are going to be like, why Spider-Man and Elsa? Why Spider-Man and Elsa? Okay, so we uh, are sort of fascinated with this phenomenon of these... uh, Spider-Man and Elsa bootleg. I'm not fascinated. Videos. I'm annoyed. You're fascinated. I'm annoyed. Our daughter was fascinated with these yeah. videos. We caught her watching uh, these. They, they're they're called the Spider-Man and Elsa videos. And we'll talk a little bit about that. We talked about it on the Kingdom Insider, uh, thekingdominsider.com. That's the blog that we do news for. That is the kingdominsider.com. That is the kingdominsider.com. Remember the the. Yeah, The Kingdom Insider. The Kingdom Insider. But we posted an article up uh, last week, and it got some some reactions from people who had never seen uh, these uh, Spider-Man and Elsa videos uh, before. So to to kind of explain it, um, gosh, I know. Well, first of all, this is a warning for parents. This is a warning for parents. Big time warning. This is, you know, this is not a good thing. Well, Warning. some of them are harmless enough. Okay, so so the, the deal is with the Spider-Man and Elsa videos, most of them feature uh, grown people dressed as Spider-Man, Elsa, Anna, uh, the Joker, Harley Quinn, you know, dressed as superheroes, and frozen characters mingling. I don't understand why. And uh, usually the videos uh, feature them doing a, a variety of wacky, wacky antics. Uh, and some of them, uh, you know, sort of veer into to adult territory. Veer? They drive straight into it. They drive straight <laughs> into it. Yeah, they they do. Some of the uh, the videos feature, um, gosh, blood, guts, uh, uh, potty humor, actual potty substances, uh, lots of of golf balls being flatulated. Yes, I don't get I don't why understand. would you think, you know it'd be funny if I fart out a golf ball, you know, who thinks? Yeah, Elsa just wants to let it go. One day it just happened and I realized how hilarious it was, so I had to make that happen on every episode. So I, I guess how these uh, these videos got started was actually with a, a YouTube channel called Disney Car Toys, not an official Disney channel. It was actually one of these toy opening unboxing channels uh, and they played with the toys. Yeah, and she was actually really popular. She was. She very, still is. She, she still is. I think she changed her name. I think actually, I think she might be part of Disney's digital thing. Oh. And I think they made her change her name. I'm not 100 percent sure about that. Uh, I would have to check. But yeah, but she sort of popularized the uh, the toy opening uh, videos. Right. And and so what happened was her most popular video, or one of her most popular videos was uh, you know she had an Elsa a frozen Elsa doll and a Spider-Man action figure. And they were sort of, you know, hanging out and doing fun stuff together. And I guess that sort of exploded. And then other people started doing toy videos with Elsa and Spider-Man. And eventually it turned into they live just, action. They, just stole, <laughs> they wanted the keyword popularity. So they just started right. it. And- so, uh, you know, Spider-Man and Elsa became a very popular keyword. So 
uh, everybody started doing videos featuring uh, Spider-Man and Elsa. Yes, yeah, so I've seen other people that are now just doing toy videos and they make sure they have Spider-Man and Elsa included in their toy videos. With Actually, other toys. their name, it's like Spider-Man and Elsa superhero channel or right, whatever. So it's, that they it's can nuts. get everybody in there on the Spider-Man and Elsa. Yeah, so... Uh, so what's what what happened then is it, it started out you know harmless enough and then uh, you know some creepy people were doing some very strange things with Spider-Man and Elsa mm -hmm. trying to pass it off as as kids videos and uh, you know so much so that YouTube is actually uh, really looking into the criteria for kids channels now mm -hmm. uh, and they actually went through I think last month and they they marked a bunch of quote unquote family friendly channels and kids videos as uh, mature, right? So they blocked it because you know a, a lot of times these videos would start out you know fine for the first couple minutes and then it would just go off the deep end. You know you had like people getting limbs cut off. Uh, you know it was just nuts. It was nuts. Yeah, it, when it was babies cut out and stuff like oh, that. Oh yeah, it it's just, it's crazy. And you don't want your kids watching that. So the basically the warning is. Make sure you keep an eye on what your kids are watching because uh, they might be watching a totally harmless video and then what would happen would be uh, more suggested videos right. and they would get suggested. I mean, there's some networks, like we're running a network and they scan for that, but a lot of places don't and they would be suggested video and next thing you know, your kids are watching things that they should not be watching. Yeah, and I think I think what happens a lot, I mean, you know, it's with our, our kids, it'll just autoplay videos and if you've got young kids, they'll just watch whatever comes up mm -hmm. next in the queue. And I think people are thinking, oh, it's, you know, Elsa videos. Oh, this is cute kids oh, stuff. Oh, it's Disney. It's Disney. It's not this Disney. It's not Disney. <laughs> it's not Disney. So that that is actually the next question. And that's something we brought up in the article, you know, and, and we're not laying the blame at Disney's feet at all. We're basically saying, uh, you know, what can Disney do about it? I don't know if they really can do much about it, short of policing every video. I mean, there's no way they can. On YouTube, which is next to impossible. I mean, they would have to hire a ridiculous amount of people. Right. To, to do that, uh, just because of the sheer volume of videos being uploaded, uh, you know, I do, I do believe that YouTube is going to be a lot more strict with it. Uh, but again, I don't know, you know, what point, you know, short of Disney saying, hey, any video with, you know, Spider-Man and or Elsa and or Mickey Mouse in the keywords title or body, you know, we're going to ban Google's not going to go for that. No. YouTube's not going to go for no. that. So, so I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm just telling parents they need to watch out for that. Yeah, and that's really that's really where you know it, it you know for us. I mean, especially as parents, just watch what your kids are watching. You know, if you're letting and we've fallen into that. I've fallen into that. I'm like, oh, okay, she's busy watching the iPad. <laughs> the babysitter's on. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And then you look over. And you're like, what in the heck? Oh, there's, there's like so Har many Harley Quinn, like you know, wearing a. They had one where she was wearing like a really risque police officer's uniform and prancing around. And it was supposed to be a kids' video. I'm like, what in the heck? Yeah. You know. Um, but then again, you know, I could I can go into another rant about Harley Quinn being marketed to, to young girls anyway. Well, that's, that's nothing to do with this. <laughs> that's not Disney. We won't talk about that. Either. Well, not the Harley Quinn's not Disney either. So no. Yeah, but I'm saying, but they have her with Spider Man and Elsa. So there's a crossing of the streams anyway. But that's <laughs> another do. story. And they throw Ghostbusters in there too. So, well, there you go. <laughs> sometimes they the Ghostbusters are called are in that there. one. So yeah. So there's that. What yeah, else are you going so, to speak of? Uh, well, I don't know. I just wanted to kind of you know get that out there because a lot of people are like, you know, why did you guys cover? that and it's like well you know because it it, it really is uh, a hot topic right now but hey speaking of hot topics we will talk about uh some rumors All in right. disney parks um i think the first one we should talk about it's kind of a big one we talked about it before they're uh, pretty much like 95 percent sure that ellen's getting gone we don't yeah. know well they already took her and her pointy stick out they took the much ellen to tristan's dismay it's probably in ellen DeGeneres' living room I'm no, guessing. that'd be creepy. If it was me, I would not want that. My, well, it doesn't look like her, first of all. It doesn't look anything and like secondly, her. secondly, that'd just be creepy to have that in my house. It looks like Lady Elaine from Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. I don't remember. Yeah, so it doesn't look anything like Ellen DeGeneres. So they took they took it out, uh, what was it, last year? And there's been rumors that they were going to close it down since, I think we were there, uh, they said they were going to close it down it in January. We well, it was before we went, when we went in... September because we were like they were going to do it after that so and we debated we, whether or not we wanted to and we did check an hour time. of our, our life at the door you know to ride that one one last time because this is like a 45 minute attraction yeah it's just, it's so long uh so uh, th okay so what happened uh this week 
is that there were, were uh, some papers filed with, I believe, one of the uh, the water management systems, uh, South Florida, that they're going to uh, drain the canal behind the Universe of Energy. There's a canal back there? There's like a canal, and it filled in. Uh, they're not uh, currently they're not knocking down the building, I, I guess, because that's not what the permit said. They're basically just looking to fill it in, uh, to fill in behind it, put a parking lot in. It could just be infrastructure. It doesn't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it could just be, attraction. you know, they said about for, you know, building, but it could be, you know, used for something else because we know they're going to ramp up and do some stuff. It might just be for storage. It could be for lots of things. Yeah. But they've been saying before they're going to take down the universe energy so yeah that's who knows? been that's been going on for a while so i you know guardians i don't know if it's is really a good at least if it's just a straight up roller coaster i don't know if it's a very good fit but you know i don't know um well that's not well they were also talking about the figment thing they right. were serving they were serving guests i don't know a couple weeks ago um in the park if you go to the parks you can a lot of, time, a lot of times they'll grab you and ask you hey like we you do a survey and you answer the questions and one of the ones that were going around was they were trying to decide what the interest level of figment was for figment was. Yeah, and Disney usually they 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 do these surveys. It's they're they're definitely um, planning something. It's yes. a very specific, it's a very yeah. specific survey. You know, do you know who Figment is? Do you care about Figment? And the do you answer like is Figment? yes, Disney. <laughs> we really like Figment. And you better not touch Figment. And while you're at it, why don't you bring Dreamfinder back and make a decent Journey into the Imagination attraction? There you go. I know you listen. So <laughs> I'm just saying. We're tracking you, Disney. Yeah. The, uh, so obviously there there are plans afoot to overhaul Future World. And this has been rumored for a while that they were going to do a massive overhaul of Future World once they got done with Pandora. Uh, oh, which I agree with 100. percent Yeah, I'm future world totally do new things, help, but don't touch help. Figment. I think, yeah, I mean, redo Journey to Imagination, but leave Figment. I, you know, personally, I would. I mean, the, the leading rumor for that is they were going to do an Inside Out attraction. Um, and I'm just saying, the Cranium Command was there. It was already there. there. It's basically the same thing. That right? building sitting at you know, wonders you, of life sits empty. There you go. Right. But anyway, well, you had said they should take it and bring back um, since it's in imagination, Bing Bong. Bing Bong, yeah. <laughs> and then Bing Bong come back. So they can bring it back, Bing Bong. And yeah, bring Bing Bong. There you go. So you could you could make everybody happy. Bring Bing Bong back from the dead. With Figment and Dreamfinder. And they can all hang out together. <laughs> they can all hang out together in the Imagination Island or whatever it was. Um, there you go, Disney. Uh, I won't charge you for that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, I, I, I that the le- the leading rumor is, a, a, yeah, again, it's IP. They're talking uh, inside out. I've heard that for a couple of years. Personally, I would like to see them bring uh, Mystic Manor over from Hong Kong. You know, yeah, with Dreamfinder Figment, but like, right. yeah, that'd be awesome if they could use some of the tech from that, but then keep it Dreamfinder yeah, Figment. Yeah, because this is a very, I mean, if you haven't seen that that attraction, Mystic Manor, uh, go out to YouTube and, and look at a video of it. I mean, the, the, the characters are very reminiscent it, of Dreamfinder Figment. When I saw it, when you showed it to me, what's the first thing I said? Dream oh, it's, Dream, it's like Dreamfinder Figment. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's and the first thing I said. I could see them totally repurposing that ride system. And yeah, there you go. See, Disney, you can recycle that and keep everyone happy. Save some money. <laughs> It win win for everyone. Throw a Bing Bong in there just to get the IP. Yeah, you know. so you know it's win win. Um, or you know, I mean, if they do the Journey to Imagination attraction, maybe they could do something with Figment and Dream Finder next door in a theater. Uh, no, some, that's boring. Like, no, like a story time no. bell type show or no. something. <laughs> I mean, they can bring a Dream Finder Figment to walk around. People would love that. But yeah, you know, no. It's just it seems like now, you know, Disney's not going to do anything that doesn't involve some kind of a movie tie-in which is but, unfortunate but then the flip side is everything they're doing with figment though they, they're you know um sure uh my mind blank the garden festival mm. they're the figments their eye their logo they have the mm. figment you know topiary they're putting him on all the merchandise they're making all these pins and stuff with figment so if they were going to get rid of figment why would they be spending all this time and energy promoting figment i don't know i think they're trying to gauge gauge uh you know is figment just going to be our mascot for the festivals or you know, can Figment carry an attraction? Yes, he can. He can. If Short it's a, answer, yes. If it's a good attraction, Figment can absolutely yeah, carry it. Yeah, if it's it. better than what you have there now, yeah, he can carry it. And even then, he's saving that attraction because no one wanted that attraction. No, I mean, the version now, as awful as it is compared to the original, the one before it was way worse. I, I'd never actually ridden that version of it, but I saw it on YouTube, and it was boring. I mean, it was just Well, I'm telling you right boring. now, if they get rid of Figment, my nephew's going to go after I, them. I think a lot of people <laughs> so, are going to... 
a lot of people are not going to be happy <laughs> if they get rid of Figment. Uh, and I think most people would like to see, you know, at least the old school fans would like to see Dreamfinder. Well, if, if they would go by what the people were, they would go around and listen to what people are saying. The, the majority is like, don't touch Figment. Well, the thing that gets me, I mean, I understand why, they, because they, they, they changed the attraction because Kodak wanted a different yeah, I get that, but attraction. The- and they were sponsoring the pavilion. But the thing is, a lot of people feel that the original Journey to Imagination was on par with Pirates of the Caribbean, mm-hmm. Small World, these classic, you know, Disney attractions that, you know, spawn characters in the parks that, you know, they could use for other... They, I mean, uh, you know, they're not doing rides with original characters, but look at Pirates of the Caribbean. They took that from the ride, mm-hmm. you know. They're doing a Jungle Cruise ride. Why couldn't they do a Figment and Dreamfinder, or I'm sorry, a, 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 a movie. Why could they do a Figment and Dreamfinder movie? Dreamfinder movie, Figment, yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they could. And I mean, it would probably do well, too. Well, they used to do Figment for educational videos because you used to watch them in I school. did. <laughs> you said, yeah, and I was very jealous because all these kids got to go to Epcot when they were little. And I didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I had to watch. I'd sit and watch them before. I went. I know. I My know. mom told me the other day, you went there within the first year it opened. I'm like, yes, I know. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. So. Well, anyway, I got to go to Disneyland, though, so that's, well, that's pretty yeah, well. kind of sort of the same. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> anyway, let's so, move on, because you'll uh, be on this forever. Yeah, I know. I love okay, you, but so like Elsa and, and Spider-Man and, El- and uh, Figment are the two things that will get you going, and we'll be here all night. Okay, so, so. we're gonna move, moving along to other rumors, and this is another rumor. Uh, this was actually started by WDW News Today. Uh, you can believe it or not, but they said that uh, Paint the Night has been packed up in Disneyland, obviously, because they're not running it now, which means that they're not going to bring it back to Disneyland. Uh, now, the rumor is they're going to possibly bring it to the Magic Kingdom. But? but there's always a but. There's a but there. Okay, so that sounds good. Paint the Night, if you're not familiar with it, is uh, sort of a revised Main Street Electrical Parade. It's got newer characters, great technology. Actually, I think nicer. But... I think it's a better show, personally. I mean, I would not be sad if they retired Main Street Electrical permanently and brought Paint the Night. <laughs> you know? Well. That sounds good in theory if you say it out loud, then I'm like, oh, I feel bad. Well, it would be. Well, anyway, go ahead. Anyway, at least it'd be something different, you know. So, uh, you know, Magic Kingdom is without a a nighttime parade because we've got Happily Ever After now. And uh, so there are a couple things going on here. Uh, One, according to many users on Facebook, when we posted that story, they're like, there's a huge problem with bringing Paint the Night to Disney World. It's not going to fit because... Uh, Mac, which is the uh, semi truck from Cars, mm-hmm. is a massive float, and they said he will not fit. He will not make the turns in in Walt Disney World, the Magic Kingdom. That's that's one um, one of the issues, I, I guess, facing it. So uh, I don't know. Uh, the other issue is that apparently, happily ever after costs a lot more than Wishes, mm-hmm. which I can totally understand because it's an amazing show. Uh, and they blew the nighttime entertainment budget on the Happily on Ever After. Show, yeah. yeah, so they don't have the uh, don't have the uh, uh, resources to do a, a nighttime show too. And my personal take on it is they've got so much new nighttime entertainment now in Walt Disney World between you know uh, Pandora at night and Rivers of Light and Happily Ever After. And uh, you know. Th- do they really need to bring a nighttime parade? Yeah. To the, <laughs> I was going to say, do they have to? But I, I'm just looking at this from like a business sense. Like, is there any any reason right now that they have to have a nighttime My parade? happiness. That's true. It's I, not happily ever after for me, people. Yeah. Throw in a parade and then the show and then it's happily ever after. I know a lot of people have been really upset about the Main Street Electrical Parade. I mean, Disneyland, they're just over the moon to get but, it back, but... but. I'm thinking though, it's what's going to happen is it's going to be a parade, happily ever after, and a giant price hike for everyone. That is totally possible. But there's price hikes all the time, whether there's a parade or not. So yeah, so I don't know. Um, you know, I, 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 you know, if they could always bring it here and 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 leave out the the cars float, or maybe do a replacement. You know, They're not going to do that because they have a new movie coming out. Well, yeah, but they can still do cars because Lightning McQueen, they have Lightning McQueen. I'm trying to remember from the video. I've never seen it in person. I'm, I'm just going by the video. And I know which float they're talking about. It is massive. Yeah, I know which uh, one it is too. Mac is huge. But they could always replace them with like, you know, a couple of like tractor cows or something. I don't know. <laughs> you know, something else. Maybe a character from Cars 3. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, you know, so I, I don't know. But it, I mean, it's possible. I know, you know, people really, really, really want that nighttime parade back as amazing as Happily Ever After is. 
uh, you know, the nighttime parade is, is a huge part of most people's trip. I mean, you know, we planned an entire trip around going to see the Main Street Electrical Parade. Yeah, they love the memories from sitting in the thunderstorm yeah, <laughs> with lightning behind the castle. I know. So, anyway, we got to move along because... That's another... Yeah, because you you've already spent so much time <laughs> just talking about the three things you want to okay. talk about. Okay, Stitch. So go ahead. Stitch's Great Escape, uh, not my favorite attraction, but it's going to be open for the summer to address uh, capacity issues. It's going to be open uh, uh, May 27th, I think, through August 19th. So if you want to have onions belched in your face while you're strapped down in a seat in the dark, you have your opportunity. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Uh, now's your chance. You can. Sounds like a fun night. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it this summer with Stitch. And they're going to have a new meet and greet, too, I guess. I had worse things belched in my face. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, so that is that. Uh, other things happening this summer, obviously Pandora, uh, Avatar, incredible place, uh, from what I've heard, we haven't been down there yet, we're going down in a couple of weeks. But the videos look awesome, go check them out. The videos do look awesome, uh, now, but the problem. The problem is, Flight of Passage, okay, um, if you are poo-sized. Or very tall. Or very tall, you might not fit. You may not fit on the ride vehicle. According to a couple people. According to a couple of different blogs, they said that if you are larger, you may not fit on the ride vehicle because it's sort of like a motorcycle type mm -hmm. uh, contraption. And then they, they strap your back in, strap your legs in. If you have really thick um, calves, I guess, you can't fit your your legs into <laughs> or the... Or if you have a really thick butt. <laughs> <laughs> you have a really thick butt. You know, and that's not to make fun of me, right? but just No, saying, I have a thick butt. I'm, that's why but, I'm worried I won't fit. I, uh, yeah, but I guess what happened during the preview event was uh, they had a bunch of folks go in, and it was something like 20, 25% of people did not fit on these Which is why vehicles. I'm concerned. And that's sort of, that's a huge, I mean, I can understand people that are very very large because chances are they're probably not going to fit in some of the other attractions either but uh 20 to 25 percent that's that's not those aren't no. good odds no so because not everybody in that theater could have been gigantically you know large right right taller and, wide and this sort of you know I, I guess they're talking that they might uh have like a test vehicle that you can get on before yeah they're supposed to be, they're saying they're gonna probably put a yeah some seats out that you can try to see if you'll fit before you go on so you don't waste your time in line and then be like oh golly gee you have to get off how more i mean that's just mortifying though i mean you're waiting in line to get on this ride it's like oh we're sorry you're too big to get on the ride uh and this seems to be a problem with a lot of the newer disney rides i mean the, the classic rides there really isn't much of a, a size issue on them. I mean, I can't think of anything that I've, I mean, I'm six foot three. So I, you know, I am taller and I, I do have some problems on smaller rides, but the, the one I had the most problem on in recent years is actually the, uh, mine train. Mm -hmm. And I was really surprised well, by that. It, it's funny if you like your knees under your teeth, <laughs> but if you don't, you know, you can't really fit for you because you're tall. The problem I had was I didn't have enough leg room, so my knees were literally on the back of the headrest in front of me, and uh, my feet couldn't even touch the floor. And then the bar came down. It was just, it was incredibly uh, unpleasant. <laughs> it's like being in the fetal position, but locked in there while you're halfway up. I was. Halfway I was up. locked in the fetal it's position. Like you're, you're like in a dangling fetal position. Yeah, it was very, but being you know, hung I, by a bar. But I had no problem. I have no problem on the Barnstormer. I have no problem on Big Thunder Mountain. I have no problem on Space Mountain. I can ride all of those with no issue. So why? Did Disney make the mine train so small? I don't know. Well, I know a lot the of other dwarves. parks. I know a lot of other parks, though. It's a lot of the rides. If you're too big, you can't fit. They, you can't yeah. ride. I mean, I, I mean, I'm big, but I don't think I'm like gigantic. But um, I know it was a Hershey Park with once, and I almost barely didn't fit in the one ride, and I was like so embarrassed. Well, I know shoulder restraints sometimes can be kind of unforgiving. Yeah, and I was like, oh my gosh, I mean, I'm, I'm not that big, honestly. I mean, I am big, but I'm just like, you know, I should still fit in this because my proportions aren't like, you know, some people are really big in the back end or really big, you know, up top. Yeah. Mine are kind of like, you know, spread out evenly, but still, it's just, I was, I'm worried about, I'm worried about the Pandora thing. I'm worried that I'm not going to fit on the Flight of Passage, but we'll see. Well, we'll see, uh, you know, but I mean, hopefully Disney does address it. I mean, this has been, this has been kind of an ongoing, discussion. like I said, I, I was very vocal when, you know, with Mind Train and uh, I just thought it was very odd 
you know, that they made the, the ride for small people. But I guess, you know, Seven Dwarfs, what, what you expect. Yeah. You get from not being a dwarf. Yeah. So speaking of Pandora, in addition to Pandora being open later um, this summer, they're going to have extra magic hours for other attractions in Pandora. I don't have the list. No, or, just for a couple of days. Um, oh, just for a couple of days? Yeah. They're going to have, if you go if you go to thekingdominsider.com, there's a story on there. Thekingdominsider.com. Um, but yeah, they're going to have extra magic hours. I'll, until like June for uh, Pandora at late at night until like 1am for Pandora but from May 27th I want to say to the 30th they're going to have extra magic hours for other parts of the park and Animal like Kingdom. Like Dinoland USA isn't it? like Dinoland? It was, or... Yeah there's like, yeah, some stuff at Dinoland I think um, Everest some Dinoland ones um, they're going to do another uh, Rivers of Light showing Okay. and then they're going to do more of the Tree of Life Awakenings and then okay. they're going to have some food and beverage places open until, I think, one. So they're trying to spread it out because they know it's going to be really busy and they want to yeah. kind of spread around the park if they can. But I don't think it's going to work, but they're going to try. No, because that's what I'm hearing for Flight of Passage. I guess the wait times are like really, really long. But they had some mechanical issues with the ride system because it is a new ride system. <laughs> it's so. going to be like Frozen where it's always broken. Yeah. It's great technology when it works, you know. And then if you're <laughs> so. a fast pass and you can't come back that day, you don't get to ride too bad for you. Yeah, like so well, frozen. Well, yeah, like frozen. <laughs> frozen is yeah, frozen is like they're like they're really strict over there. I mean, last time we were there, we were like two minutes early for a fast pass, and they're like, "No Elsa for you." I don't know. I wasn't there. I know. But <laughs> Remember that was when you were without me and left I'm me sorry. here. But no, they were. They were like, like, get away from here. You're not allowed here for another <laughs> two minutes. Now, if you had been in a Spider-Man costume, you would have got right in. <laughs> yeah, that's my girlfriend. She's in there. I gotta go. Gotta go, yeah, go drop some golf balls. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> She needs me. She's having issues. Um, so, okay. So, Lou LaRue, which I'm I, tangentially familiar with. It's like leggings and... Shirts and tunics. Yes, tunics it's and clothing. Stuff. It's a clothing line. Yes, but not for guys. I don't think so. No. I mean, maybe they make some man leggings. I don't know. <laughs> I need some man <laughs> leggings. I need some Mickey Mouse man leggings. <laughs> So, but they're 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 partnering with Disney and they're gonna do a whole clothing line. Yeah, on. so that's a big deal, I guess. And and people were like, why would Disney do that? Well, I can think of one really good reason why Disney would do that. Money. Well, yes, but <laughs> on Facebook all the time, there's just these other knockoff companies, and I think they make them they make better leggings too, from what I understand. But they're selling um, like Beauty and the Beast, them advertising Beauty and the Beast leggings and other kinds of leggings. They're not calling it that; they're calling it something else. But they're rip off of Disney things. And when you go to their site, they have those little scroll things at the bottom and it reads like whatever it was just sold to like Mandy R in this town and whatever. And so and so bought this in this place. And it's constantly dis the Disney leggings. Like hmm. they're, they're knockoff Disney leggings. So, yeah, I can understand why they do that, because this other company's making a crap ton of money on Disney inspired leggings. Why shouldn't they just go get the money directly? Well, why did they build a theme park in China? Because <laughs> you know, they had the bootleg Disney theme oh, park. Oh, that's true. China, so, so I'm saying. So now they're going to take, right, right. take over leggings. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah. So that's actually cool, though. They're going to have Disney. and But if it's like their other stuff, a lot of times they have these really cool leggings. And if you don't get them right away, you don't get them. So I don't know how that's going to go. Well, that's kind of like the, with the purses. Though, it's the same way. It's like you need Speaking to get Speaking of which, the Disney X by Coach Outlet is out now, so if you have a Coach Outlet, you need to go see those. Okay. And I'm going to so. talk about, oh, and speaking of other purses, too, uh, D23, they have pictures up of merchandise that's going to be available for D23. And I guess right now it's up for pre-order for, like, the Sorcerer or something ticket or whatever. Oh, cool. But among the stuff, they have amazing pins, and they have uh, hats and all this other, a lot of art. All this other cool stuff, but and among it is purses, and they have Harvey's, the Harvey bags, are doing um, a really cool Shag, Pirates of the Caribbean, Shag's the artist, bag. If you saw the Shag, Star Wars, he's doing Pirates of the Caribbean oh, okay. this time. And I they also know. have like a couple bags with like patches and stuff and pins on, and they're really cool. And then they're gonna, there's a couple Dooney bags are coming, and then there's a, um... I'm on a blank. No, it was just the Harvey and Doonies. I don't think of anything else. And then they have a bunch of Alex Nani stuff, so I was really happy about that. But if you go on to thekingdominsider.com, you can find a link. Thekingdominsider.com. Yeah, you can find a link to look at the 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 um, different merchandise coming out for D23. 
Um, we're excited to hear about the announcements they're hoping to make for D23. Maybe we'll hear something about Epcot. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping. I mean, they only do D23 every other year. And the la- last one, they were making all kinds of announcements about Avatar and Star Wars Land. And so if they're going to make a big theme park announcement, it will be at, at D23. Right. But if you so. want to see the merchandise... Go check it out on the Kingdom of Insider.com. I can't speak. Okay. All right. What else do you want to talk about? I was going to talk about movies a little bit uh, to wrap things up here. Okay. So uh, got a couple of rumors and, and whatnot. Uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi. Now, they released a... Now, this is spoiler territory, so if you want to be spoiled, you might want to shut the podcast off. Or go to the KingdomInsider.com. <laughs> read some stories. Uh, so, Star Wars The Last Jedi, they released a uh, Japanese promotional leaflet. I guess they were giving it out to theater owners. Uh, to promote the movie, but they translated this leaflet, and it basically said the the biggest spoiler plot twist in the history of Star Wars is going to be at the end of... Luke's own father. Ew. How's that even work? I don't know. <laughs> he, he was born in the... Ray is Vader reincarnated. That I've heard that. I've heard that people have been talking about that for, like, ever since The Force Awakens came out. They thought it was... Ray might be reincarnated, Darth Vader reincarnated. I'm like, that is very much like the Legend of Korra. I mean, that is like, mm, yeah, you know, because you know she comes back, you know, he comes back. Well, that as was a Avatar, she and, also. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, it was a she. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I I don't know, but they're they're promising this big. Maybe they're just overselling it. This is a big reveal, but you know, if if they're mimicking the original trilogy, which they seem to be doing, then this is the Empire Strikes Back. So they have to, they have to uh, uh, one up. Yeah, you know, the Empire Strikes Back. I mean, already I'm looking at the trailer. I'm like, oh yeah, they got walkers and they're on the planet. Well, that's why I'm saying Luke's his own father because it's gonna be someone being someone's daddy. Yeah, it's got to be the thing, or or uh, maybe Kylo Ren finds out he's adopted. <laughs> he's adopted. Yeah, he's Palpatine's Emperor Palpatine's grandson or something. Yeah, I don't know, but yeah, it's got to be some daddy issue thing. Oh geez, I don't know. So that that's that's one thing. So I have no idea what the spoiler. The big spoiler is going to be. I'm sure it will be leaked to the internet, just like you know Han Solo's death was before, you know, like a month before the movie came out. <laughs> so we'll find out, like October, November. We'll know what the big secret is. Uh, so speaking of other uh, movies, Pirates of the Caribbean Five: Dead Men Tell No Tales uh, is getting rave reviews online. I've, I've read mm-hmm. a couple more reviews today that were very, very good. People said it's easily the best one since the first one. We'll know on Thursday. We will know Thursday night. We're going to go and we'll post a review. Um, on the kingdom insider.com, <laughs> <laughs> but, but it was actually bootlegged by pirates, uh, like a week or so ago, people were, uh, you know, some folks from, I don't know where they're from, what they think they had North Korean connections. Or I don't something. know. But, so yeah, they held pirates for ransom and I guess they were going to release, uh, 20 minute chunks of it unless Disney paid up and Bob Iger's like, nope, not going to happen. Why would they, it was premiered already in other countries. I know, and right? Then, That's probably how they got a copy of it. I mean, it. there's it probably was... already copies floating around. People sitting with a video camera at the theater. Now, granted, it's going to be subtitled, but still. Yeah. I'm sure it's out there already. Yeah, so I don't know. But yeah, Disney didn't pay up. It's uh, it's on track for like a $100 million opening weekend. I don't think it's going to affect the box office take at all. No. I don't blame them. I wouldn't have paid it either. But they didn't, Orange is the New Black didn't pay it, and I guess they got their shows released early, like six weeks early or something. But here's the thing. Did, did people even, like... The average person, they're not going to go out and find a torrent or whatever to str- You know what I'm saying? Like, no, quite a few people. I don't know. Do. Nah, I don't know. But uh, but you shouldn't do that. Don't do that. That's bad. But there's no FBI director right now, so who's gonna stop you? <laughs> <laughs> right. So okay. So another another thing about Pirates Five. Uh, this is spoiler territory. Not really. Well, it is. You're gonna want to stick around for the post credits stinger. So. Cam hasn't heard this. You want to shield your ears? No, I don't care. Tell the, me. There's there's a stinger. There's a teaser at the end of the credits uh, teasing the next movie. So apparently this is not the final adventure because all the trailers are like, it's the final adventure. They lied. They lied. So everybody's favorite pirate villain might be returning for the sixth movie. Uh, Davy Jones. They show oh. they show Davy Jones, again? I guess. Yeah. Again. I hope they don't make him as boring as the second, <laughs> third one. Oh, he was, I like Davy Jones. I thought he was kind of cool. But he shows up at the end of the movie. Uh, yeah. But yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out on uh, Thursday night. Hopefully, we're going to go see Pirates on opening night. Yeah, so I'm not sure why they'd have that in there. It's not the final one. Unless it doesn't matter that he's back. Who cares? Well, they, they show. I guess it's 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 a uh, like could be a dream, but there's barnacles and water on the floor with uh, Will Turner. He's having a dream, and it's Davy Jones. So 
Well, maybe he's just dreaming about David Jones. Maybe he's just maybe thinking. Maybe like, maybe, you know. Tentacle. Stuff. No. <laughs> maybe, he's just, maybe he's just, you know. I don't know. He had some, you know, he has some traumatic he you know, some issues. Bad, bad he had sushi. Post-traumatic stress disorder with Davy Jones. Well, that's true, because, you know, he. I mean, I would. I mean, I can't imagine. Well, dude killed him, so. I mean, it's <laughs> like, so, so, you know, maybe that's what the whole thing's about. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so if they do a Pirate 6, it's very likely that Davy Jones will return. Um, and they're actually talking if they do a sixth one, it might be the the final movie. Oh, with like wait, all you the can't pirates. say it's the final, you know, ch- the final adventure. And then, I mean, wait, now it's the the final adventure. <laughs> well, it's like at World's End was supposed to be the last. That's why it's at World's End. It was supposed to be the last pirate. But it made money, so psych. So, nope, oh, nope, we're back. We're doing another one. So, no, oh, nope, nope, we're going to end it again. So, I don't know. Well, I didn't read the story, but I guess people were all mad because uh, it was on IO9 or something that the original villain was supposed to be a woman, but uh, Johnny Depp didn't want it that way, so he didn't do it. I didn't read the story. People were like, of course well, not. You know. Okay. I don't know. I don't I'll have know. to go look it up later, but apparently there was a story about that. Okay, well, we'll have to look that up. Maybe she'll be in the sixth one. Maybe. So... Uh, but yeah, we'll go see Pirates. I think a lot of people were excited about this one compared to... Speaking of robbing and pirating things, did you guys see the story about the stroller? Oh, I did the, see the Disney? story. We didn't, yeah. Yeah, so apparently somebody brought an $1,800 stroller to Disney World. And not only that, but they left all their stuff in it, including their wallets and everything. And then they went on a ride. And when they came back, it was gone, and they used did the cameras and things like the you know mm-hmm. CCTV things around the park, and they found a woman, and she got her daughter in the stroller, and they walked off with all the stuff in the stroller, and then she sold it to somebody in Texas. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Cast member's not gonna know. A cast member's not gonna know if it's your stroller or not. I mean, it's a pile of strollers in Magic Kingdom. But like, I mean, I'm no like, way. why would you bring an eighteen hundred dollar stroller and leave it there at the park? First of all, okay, and even if you get past that, because you know, okay, you need a stroller. Why would you leave all your stuff in it? Because I guess they had to have her husband come from Miami to come get them because all their their her money, money oh, geez. their ID, everything was in the stroller. Because people think because it's Disney, it's like magical and safe and there aren't crappy people. There's there. crappy people everywhere. Yeah, I know. And I, I just I really think that, that that probably is it because people are, are unusually trusting. Like we've been to other theme parks and I would never leave my stuff alone. I would never my stuff alone at Disney. Yeah. I mean, I just wouldn't. So there was that one, and there was another guy got arrested because his wife was over at a cheerleading competition at the ESPN World of Sports or whatever, mm. and then he took the the, the child, the, the son, back to the hotel. I'm not sure how old the child was, but it was being a stroller and diapers. And apparently he got arrested because he was drunk and yelling at people and stuff. But then when they, when they got there and they, to arrest him, they found the child had been left in the stroller in the sun in a diaper that was really, really nasty, dirty. And it was legs were so badly burned. They said it was at least first degree and possibly second degree burns Jeez. from sunburn. Now, as somebody who's had Sunburns that you know, terrible sunburns mm. like that. I and I can't imagine someone that tiny having to deal with that. I I think uh, I've seen. I mean, I've seen that even locally at like uh, you know fairs. There have been people with the you know little little babies burnt, leaving them cook in the sun. It's like, what is wrong with you? Well, I mean, this is this was bad. This was like his legs were turning purple bad. Oh, so geez. you know, and the dad was arrested for the drinking and all that. And it, but then there's the whole thing and. I just feel bad. And then I got mad because people were commenting and they were blaming the mom. I'm like, how is it the mother's fault? I mean, if I'm I... hooking up with the kids. If, <laughs> if I trusted... If you said to me, hey, I'm taking little Timmy back to the hotel. And if that kid's name's Timmy, I did not know that. Back <laughs> to the hotel and I'm going to take care of him. And why you stay here and take care of what you have to do. And I would say and think okay he's taking care of little timmy i wouldn't think i needed to be there too and check up every five seconds to make sure little timmy isn't in some freak sunburn accident yeah i know it's people do i mean they're just i mean it's right up there with you know you know unfortunately some of the pool incidents and stuff i i I don't i don't know i just think i think people on vacation just they just check out well here's a little word of advice the magic of Disney does not cover against theft, nor does it shield you from the sun's rays. And I know that for personal experience. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Just it's it's just crazy. Magic um, can only do so many things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Yeah. Don't 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 do that. So my advice to you is: don't leave your stuff in strollers. 
don't take very expensive things to the park because apparently people are out uh, prowling around watching for these to take them. So keep that in mind. And wear sunscreen. Yeah, actually, you know, what would have been kind of cool is if somebody was stolen the stroller with the baby in it. That wouldn't so, have been cool. So, you know. And oh, take, that guy. Take, take the it baby, to a place of shade. Taking the baby to a place of shady place. No, that's not even funny. No, don't okay. joke about that. But, no, see, that can happen. I mean, it's it's scary. It's, I don't know. It's a lot of people there. And yeah, like I said, I mean, I don't think you can blame Disney for that. Because no, it's like not their fault. 10,000 stroller, strollers piled on top of each other. How do they know? Now, I'm waiting for the next thing to be. You know, Disney's own in-house stroller rental will have like Magic Band ID that you can't. Well, that like, makes it sense. It would lock the wheels. But this is Magic no Band one's going to really steal. I mean, I guess who would take those because I thought, well, here's a free stroller. Well, but, it's an eighteen hundred dollars stroller. But this is eighteen hundred dollars stroller. So my point is, people are there. They know what the stuff's worth, and they're out there looking around. Right. People who left their stuff there, so they can walk off with it. So keep that yeah. in mind when you're going to the parks that your stuff can be taken. Don't leave important things like your ID and money in your stroller. Cameras. And, yeah, and also make sure that, you know, yeah, don't leave your cameras laying in your stroller. And also make sure that, you know, you take care of your children, you don't get drunk and yell at strangers, and you wear sunscreen. Those are my tips for the day. There you go. That will help you have a magical day. Yes, because magic so, doesn't protect against theft and sunburn. Yeah, so we're going to wrap this episode up. Uh, we've, we've run pretty long on, on this one. But, That's because uh, we haven't done them for a while because we're so busy. Yeah, we're very busy trying to get thekingdominsider.com up and running. So <laughs> subscribe on iTunes, subscribe on Stitcher, subscribe on YouTube uh, to the Pirates and Princesses podcast. And if you want to go to Disney, what should you do? You should go to mickeyvacations.com backslash PNP. That's mickeyvacations.com backslash PNP. They have all kinds of crazy good deals. Uh, They'll hook Disney. you right up. They will. But they, they will. can't protect against theft and sunscreen. They cannot do or that. Or sunburn. But they'll get you a good deal. But uh, you can say use that money to buy you sunscreen. buy your own. Right. <laughs> right. All right. Till next time. Bye. Bye. Pirates and Princesses is a production of Clownfish Studios. We are an unofficial Disney podcast, not endorsed or affiliated with the Walt Disney Company. You can visit us on the web at piratesandprincesses.net. That's piratesandprincesses.net. You can shoot us an email at piratespodcast at gmail.com. That's piratespodcast at gmail.com. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for listening and have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow.